We're proudly back at the airfield today with one of my favorite all-around airplanes, the Bigfoot. This thing is just hitting every nail on the head. It's been on the channel twice now. This makes the third time, and we have some awesome information for you guys about this airplane. I still think that in its category of this size, this many channels with lights, this style of airplane, and for the under $200 price point, this is the best plane in its class for your money. The good news is, well, kind of interesting, when we featured it on the channel recently, about a month or so ago, in less than a day and a half, they completely sold out. That's really awesome because it's such a good airplane. A lot of guys got on the waiting list for back orders, and the best news is that this is now back in stock. Linked down in the description box below where you buy this plane, right next to our link, is an exclusive coupon code. Amazingly, the shop owner is still going to honor the coupon code even though this completely sold out. I think for about a week or so. If you're one of the unlucky ones that didn't get to pick this up on the first round, please do yourself a favor and pick one up. What we're gonna do in this video is just have some fun. I brought four charged batteries with me. We're gonna fly it, talk about it a little bit, and just show you guys why this is 100% worth your hard-earned money. If you want a well-rounded airplane for 2020, this is the one to get. Nice standard five-channel airplane. We have throttle, of course, elevator and rudder in the back, ailerons and flaps. We also have some really sweet lights on here that look so good. Even during the daylight, I can see them really well, but they start to shine in the late evening. We're gonna go half flaps on this takeoff, and we're getting in the air really fast. Here we go. So I'm flying on, kind of a shout out to Tactic here. I'm still flying on Tactic just because it's a cool old school system. Old school, <laughs> it's not really that old, but I just love flying this standard five channel airplane on my favorite in the past, Tactic radio system. The unique thing about the experience here guys for you, I want people to talk about this in the comments section. I know a lot of my good friends, a lot of the people that watch our videos bought this airplane uh, when we did our first two videos. We did a maiden and then just kind of a follow-up video to show you how much fun I've been having. Well, since then I've been having even more fun. This thing just cruises so nicely. All these maneuvers that I'm doing right now is on a 3S battery. And that's pretty unique for a plane of this size, scale, and especially price point to be able to pull off. Uh, flying off of grass, and I gotta tighten my right thumbstick. It was coming loose. <laughs> <laughs> it was twisting while I was flying. I got it though. And I wanna hear from you guys. I would love to hear from you in the comments below because I know there's a good number of you that bought this airplane. What has your experience been so far? I know a couple of my friends picked one up and they haven't built it yet. They blame it on Corona or whatever. And uh, But everyone is under the same impression so far Nice, strong build quality. Very impressive parts. Well, come on the way. <laughs> and I just want to hear from you guys. Don't just take it from me. I'd like for those of you that might just be on the fence, maybe you've never watched our videos before, you don't know if you can trust me or not, check out our comments section. People, we're gonna pull out of that. I'm so was, sorry. That was my fault too. Well, I was zoomed in a lot. <laughs> a funky angle. Um, I just wanted to save it rather than committing to it. And I, I want to hear from you guys. I want everyone in the comments to kind of get heavily involved on this one. You know, was it a great shopping experience or uh, uh, shipping came super fast. Also, free shipping on this puppy too. I've just been really impressed with this brand so far. And we've only had about three, three of their planes. Yeah. This you can even knife edge. It's nice. I really like this plane. They recommend that you fly on a 3S 2200, but just a heads up, I'm flying on one of my really old Venom batteries. I'm just trying to use them so that I can replace it with a nice smart battery. Uh, 1800 milliamps. So even though they recommend a 22, this flight time, this performance, all this is on a really old, like six year old battery. Um, so bear that in mind. What you're seeing right now is on some really old, old stuff. I, I kind of pride myself in taking care of my batteries. Even so, I still struggle to always put them in storage mode. You know, that's why I love those smart batteries and we talk about them all the time on the channel. But I'm, I'm just such a huge fan of this airplane. Uh, I love flying it. I, I still think it just smashes the tundra Good turn. Into the Good ground. turn. Thank you. Yeah, I'm getting a little better at inverted. This plane flies inverted really well. I only have to give maybe 5 to 10% input to keep it upside nice. down. 
it's uh, just one system. Here's here's zero on the right stick. You can see I'm losing altitude. You just have to give a little bit of input. Huge fan of the Bigfoot. I, I think this is a very, very, very awesome performing plane that everybody would benefit from. Let's just, what I want to do now, is kind of like cruise it around. Just nice and docile. I don't want you to think that this is like a 3D stunt plane or anything. We have a lot of new pilots on our channel, people buying trainers. I just want you guys to see this puppy can just kind of cruise. If you want to fly it as a trainer, you absolutely can. Nice scale airplane. This is a great airplane. There's a rainbow out there, Abby. Where? I want to fly by it. Follow the airplane. <laughs> but I want to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right in front of the airplane, right there. Right above oh, the trees. You yeah. see it? Right there. Know. In the rainbow. Can you guys see that? I I'm going to get it again, okay? I can't tell if it's showing up on camera. I'm going to get it again. I'm going to fly right into it. We'll see if anyone can see it. It's right in front of the plane, over the tree line, right there. I'm in it. They may be able to see it. It's really, it's, just a very it's really small subtle. piece of rainbow. <laughs> kind of cool. It, poured the rain here. I didn't think I was going to get the fly. And actually we saw some like flash flooding yeah. from the creeks this on our way here. This also has a really bright headlight. I don't know if you'd call that like a taxi light. It honestly has it. the best headlight I've ever seen. Well, yes. uh, the Night Timber X is kind of good. Yeah, it's it was good. Really bright, but it's also way more expensive this than this This one's plane. though is like more focused like I don't know, it's just really intense, that I, headlight, because I, I can could, see it perfectly right now. I could probably slap a, if we had like an official certificate or something, I would boldly and proudly say that this airplane would get my under $200 best airplane of 2020. And I would, I'd say that there's probably nothing that will compete with it as far as a well-rounded airplane, the rest of what 2020 brings. Uh, that's a pretty bold statement because I really don't know what's on the market and what's <laughs> coming, but for what is available right now, I love this. It outshines my Tundra. It's just the price tag. That's what makes it incredible. Yeah, if this was a $300 airplane, I'd say, yeah, it's still an awesome airplane. But hey, there's probably better planes for your money out there. You can get a little bit more bang for your buck. This is not a $300 airplane, though. I think you guys will be surprised. So check out check out the price on the link. I don't want to give it away because it's awesome. You'll be pleasantly surprised. When you check it out, it's already a good price. But if you're watching, Within a pretty close time to release of this video, we have a coupon code right by our link, exclusive to our channel. You use it through the link, and I think it's a tw I think you save 20 more bucks, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's what the dollar amount is. That's amazing, that's another battery for you. It depends what batteries you're buying. If you're buying really cheap batteries, there's my LiPo alarm. We're gonna Six bring Six minutes, it. that's not bad. And it's an old 1800 milliamp. We're gonna nice. put another battery in and fly one more time for you guys. And I'm gonna fly a couple times off camera too. We're gonna to go half flaps here. You know what, let's do full. Let's do full flaps. I just kind of cranked it around, nosing into the wind. On the next flight, we'll do a nice slow flyby. A zero throttle. Beautiful. We'll put a fresh battery in and put it back in the air and just have a good time with this airplane because that's what it brings to the table. Just, it's fun to fly. Half laps, uh, the wind has died down. Almost no wind, this ought to be a fun flight. Now bear in mind, I am uh, flying on some old batteries and I just couldn't tell you, some of them have more cycles on them than others. So, I told you I'd do a slow flyby, we'll do that on the next one. I wanna do a snap roll. I only did one of those. Little, just one roll, it'll look better when we do a little U pattern, but let's go full flaps on this next pass, Abby. We'll just bring it around nice and slow and scale. There's full flaps, we're getting a little climb because I had a lot of throttle on. So we have zero wind. I'm just gonna try to bring it in nice and slow. Under a little bit of throttle there. We don't wanna tip stall, but I am gonna bring it around with full flaps on that turn. Look at that nice slow turn. A little bit of throttle, no wind. Oh yeah, isn't that amazing? Such a well-rounded airplane. Some guys just love to fly truly scale and keep it that way. We're gonna fly straight up at us here, Abby, almost. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. Let's get it upside down again. That was fun. We'll do an outside loop, a crooked one. Let's do that again. You know that maneuver you asked me to do. I wanna ask you guys what the name of it's called, where we do a half loop. Well, you know what? Let's do it out here over Death Valley so it looks a little better. Where we, we kind of come in, we do a little half loop. It's just an S. And then we keep it upside down. And then we do a Pull up. outside loop. I gotta get better at that, oh my gosh. Here, let's do our snap roll. We'll have a little bit of speed going into it. Yeah, less 
sweet plane. Can knife edge a little bit. We'll climb up. Yeah, sweet, fun little plane. You can keep it in tight, close range. That's a zero throttle pass. So if you had access to maybe like a, a baseball field, I'd say you could fly this in a baseball field area very easily with a little bit of skill already under your belt. You know, keep it in figure eights and nice and tight. I like to fly this one low because I know it's a very durable airplane and we're flying pretty slow most of the time. So if I do happen to clip the ground, we're going to walk away in one piece. If something breaks, a little bit of 10 cents worth of hot glue climbing will put us back in the air. Just a really fun plane. I wanted, this, I wanted this flight to be just a little bit more scale, but still like to throw these at it too. Just a fun plane, guys. I really don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> Pretty plane. Looks good in the air, especially with the blue sky and the white clouds. We'll see if we can get some of these rolls a little closer. Ready? We'll do a full throttle pass too, just to give you guys an idea of the speed. Not super fast. Just Bring it nice... in closer and it'll look faster. Yeah, okay. I'll show you guys what distance will do for you. Looks much faster this thing. You were over us. That didn't help them. Too close. Full throttle. Say it looks much faster right there. Fun to fly. Just an awesome plane. I'm really gonna enjoy putting these last two packs through, even off camera. I'll admit to you guys, sometimes it's nice that I, when I fly off camera, do you guys think I talk a lot or do you think I'm quiet? <laughs> I wanna hear you from you. If you made it this okay, far fine. in the video, what do you think? Am I a talker off camera while I'm flying? I'm actually very, very quiet. I like to fly without saying a word. <laughs> believe it or not and we'll probably get Amelia out and she can enjoy watching the airplane fly some this is an absolute winner it's just rock solid it's on rails once you get it trimmed you know it might need a little trimming depending on your radio setup it just flies perfectly absolutely you guys see me fly inverted this much with anything no I don't have safe on this that's how comfortable I feel with this airplane do another we're gonna do a slow pass again Abby flaps are on full there's like no wind it's about 10% throttle we'll just do a touch and go flaps are off I do have a lot of climb on this what I'd recommend for those of you that really know your radios is to mix in a little bit of elevator with your flaps if you don't want to see the force climb so I'll, let me show you what I'm talking about we're gonna go fly level over Death Valley. I wanna kick flaps on in three, two, one. There's full flaps and that's no elevator. So that's how much climb you get if you don't mix in elevator. For me, I'm okay with just pushing down elevator a little bit, but if you really wanna get it just absolutely. That right there is why I don't like using flaps. Yeah, sure, <laughs> I get it. There's full throttle on a weak old battery. I can still do a climbing knife edge out there. Now, if I were a really good pilot, I'd hold this knife edge and go this way. You were starting to get that last uh, summer. Uh, yeah, I gotta just get back into it again. Sorry, sorry, that was too sporadic for camera. Yeah, it's a fun plane. And that's the kind of stuff that I'll probably have fun doing off camera. You know, just things that really don't look good at all. But maybe I finally figure out a maneuver <laughs> and I can repeat that maneuver for a future flight on camera. I mean, I'm not trying to be a perfectionist pilot here, but I still want you guys to enjoy the show. You know, you're, you're watching this to see a pretty plane fly and know if you want to buy it or not. And so uh, I, I do my best to try to give you a, a fairly clean flight. Looks good below the tree line and above it, doesn't it? Because you've got that white and red with the bright lights. It's just a sweet plane. Well, what do you say we land this, Abby? I don't think we need a, a low battery warning to tell us to come in. Such a pretty day. People are out here flying. Social distancing, of course. So that's zero throttle, but off of a climb with full flaps, 
we'll just taxi it in because this thing taxis so oh, well. Yeah, well, well hey we're dealing with a lot of water out there so i'm sure that dragged one wheel down but i am i'm just really enjoying this airplane this is always a head turner everyone's always happy to see it fly and from every a bit of feedback that I've received so far from the people that have picked one up from the previous videos Everyone's been very happy with the quality the flight performance and especially the price If you guys want to pick one up for yourself, we'll have a link in the description box below remember don't Do it without at least trying the coupon code if you're watching this a year from now You may have missed out, but that's the benefit of being a subscriber to our channel and when having the notification bell on. And the notification bell when we can we try to save you guys money when possible and in this case we're saving everyone some money. What an amazing airplane. It's amazing. I want to thank God for getting us out here today, giving us the opportunity to fly even though we had some crazy rain. It's just beautiful out now and I'm so happy to be out here flying. Before we go, I want to thank all of our Patreon supporters. We just couldn't do it without you guys. We're keeping the batteries charged, gas in the tank, and food in the belly. We thank you so much for keeping us out here flying and free videos for everybody. You're amazing. I think maybe our maiden video, something. Uh, one of our other videos about this airplane will be popping up right about now. You should absolutely check it out. If for some reason you're still on the fence, watch it flying some more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.